Hey, welcome back to Frostpunk 2. Hope you're having a great day. Start things off by clicking this little message here to see what it is. And this is the Faith Keepers demanding a vote on dedicated motherhood. It says, Stuart, the, the Faith Keepers have just drafted the dedicated motherhood law. Our customary practice would be to hold a vote on an at first opportunity, but another group has already been given the right to set the current agenda. The Faith Keepers graciously agree to forego their customary research privilege, but trust you will grant them an agenda in the near future to compensate. I see. Yeah, 15 weeks to grant the Faith Keepers an agenda. That's what it says. Okay. So they... I just have to grant them an agenda, basically, is all it is. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I, I am. We already have, like, you know, devoted people over here. People who are very favorable. Uh, if I do that, then I think uh, it's too soon. So I, I have one week to, to do that again. Uh, and then they just want to vote on it, which maybe it passes, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'm not going to influence it. I think it's fine. Um... In terms of the game so far, I, I would say I've kicked its ass <laughs> so, so, so far. Maybe it gets worse. Maybe it gets harder. But I, I would say I've kicked its ass so far. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure. I, I, I have a, like a little hunch that I suspect that might be slightly part of the reason why viewership has actually dropped on the series. If it looks like it's too easy, it gets boring to watch, right? I almost feel like I maybe should have made some critical mistakes along the way that added to the drama you know or or maybe uh what it is is like it's a pretty linear game in terms of that and so you've probably already seen it from other creators because yeah i mean I, i'm not releasing t two videos a day or anything right so uh i don't know i've just noticed viewership is like tanked on this thing so i'm gonna keep playing it i want to finish it up but i i might be hurrying it along just a little bit to kind of wrap it up in that case uh let's check out some stuff here so mossy caves which is just a food source this one here is a cursed circle some nomads have left a circle of strange machines around a, a single charred body. Forget hope is carved into each machine, some of which contain useful cores. Our scouts claim the parts are cursed and should be left where they lie. Well, we're going to take them because I want the cores. Uh, so, <coughs> yeah, sorry about that. I have a stall of a cough today. Uh, so if, if, you have a, if you have any input at all as to, I don't know, like how many, how many creators have you seen play Frostpunk? Probably a whole bunch of them, right? And so it's... Uh, it's not really all that much of a surprise when a linear game, when viewership dies, because it's, it's like you've, you've already seen it already. Unless there's something unique I can share. I, I get it. You know, it's okay. Winter Palace. Let's focus on this. This is a possible settlement place. It says, over a snowy valley, towers an opulent manor, complete with a marble ballroom and an indoor pool of hot spring water. Our scouts walk straight past the classical library and Turner Seascapes to be amazed by the fur coats and felting gear in the servants' quarters, as well as silver skinning knives and leatherworking tools. The scouts wanted to take the boat, the boots and coats home, but the commander disagreed. We should use these samples and these tools to set up a factory reproducing the works of the old world. And then everyone in New London will have fur coats and waterproof boots. Yeah, I still like that because then we're going to get goods and... Um, Economically speaking, if I'm spending less materials to make goods and I'm still having, you know, the goods needs met, then I am net positive in this transaction on materials as well. And that was the thing I was having a hard time finding. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Uh, so, we need to connect the trails. I think I'll probably go through these little posts here. Seems okay. So, we'll go one there. Uh, we'll go up here to this one here like that. That's good. And then some more Frostland teams work on man you can't go very far with these things can you uh looks like maybe we can get there like that it's the same number of steps it's just kind of going through the narrow parts here instead of going over the mountain probably makes more sense easier to traverse than all that uh okay so we'll let that go and then we have this one over here iec storage a steel shed sits by a small crevasse its doors rusted shut the letters iec embossed across its roof our scouts managed to cut their way in and found a core, a store of cores and tower pumps. Parts once used to construct the generator. You could take the parts there too. I want the cores. All right. Next thing over here, we have a fragrant find. So atop a glacier, we found sealed crates marked with the stamp of the Imperial Exploration Company, the IEC. Uh, each was tied to some sort of sail, long worn out, in the subsequent winds. The scout's commander thinks it's possible that the crates were once dropped from airships. 
Tingling with anticipation, the scouts opened them to find towels and toiletries, fragrances from a dead world that they have never smelt before. As silly as it sounds, the find might go some way to improving lives in New London or be broken down to produce other products. So we can get a, a good stockpile from this. Uh, and I think that's probably all right. Uh, I don't have enough storage for all of them. So I'm going to come back later uh, because I'm about to create my own goods anyway here. So I, I think we'll just keep those types of sources available for later and we can use them kind of whenever. Okay, let's see what this thing in New London is. Leonard... Leonard Sutton, how are you? He's a horologist. Requiring, uh, sorry, repairing a watch. Imagine a society built on technological advancement, on one-upping inventions, on pushing the boundaries of mechanical knowledge. One day, we could not only rebuild automatons, but improve their design, make ones more suited for our needs, ones that never break down. Oh, even one as small as a watch. I could be living in the city that pioneers these efforts one day. So the city has made uh, steps towards progress cornerstone, which is kind of not... I don't know if that's really us, is it? Have we been moving towards progress this whole time and I just didn't know it? <laughs> I mean, we've been adapting ourselves. Maybe that's what is kind of the same thing, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our trade here. We need some more oil to be sent over here because we are starting to dip a little bit, getting colder. And... We've now maxed out, so we're not able to send anymore. Now, I could do that, right? But we're not able to send more along this, this pathway here. So in order to do that, we need to have this pathway get uh, a little bit of a buff, all right? We need a little bit of a buff. And so uh, to do that, I may need to take out one of these buildings and instead put in the uh, automated freight deck. I need to put this in here instead. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take away one of the survivalist headquarters here. Yeah, I think we'll take away the survivalist headquarters here. We'll remove that and we're gonna replace it with one of those automated docks. And then that is going to expand the capacity of this line and allow us to, uh, to send more over it. So an automated freight dock will go right there. All right, perfect. Uh, now, we're only going to do that situationally. If we need to expand it, then we will. Otherwise, there's no point in doing so. Okay, we can also expand this base. This will give us more Frostland teams, which I don't think are necessary because I have 110 not doing anything right now. So let's not bother with that right now. Send some to the mountains. There we go. It still says it's safe. Uh, I'm wondering if any of these will not be safe now that we've done that. Very few people return from there from here unscathed. It says it's safe, though. Ah, here we go. Frozen Ocean. That sounds like a good one. Get out there and do that one. Uh, are there any others we should search? I don't think so. I think it's just that mountain one. So, yeah, once we search the mountain here, I think that's it for territories. And then we'll just know where everything is at that point. And then we can proceed. So I think now that we have that happening, it's probably okay to go ahead. I was kind of hoping to... I was kind of going to wait a little bit longer for like the, I'll go another whiteout to do this, but I think we'll just go into winter home now. We're really fortified. We're really secure here. So uh, let's go ahead and just do this and we'll make a path that goes down to here like that. That's going to be our connection to winter home. And then we can start from there. Evolvers rallies expanding to more high rise housing districts. Oh joy. All right, I need to grant the Faith Keepers an agenda. I've only got two weeks to do it. So we're going to have to do that now. Uh, I want you guys to enhance the workforce again. Make significantly more efficiency once more. There we go. Now everything is just... Boy, we have so much stuff now. Uh, okay, material stockpile. Let's get another material stockpile. And we'll put it, put it down right here. To hold more materials... Let's get another fuel hub because we can put that over here because we can. Um, let's go ahead and get more food stockpiling. I guess why not? I don't see any reason why not. So we'll do that and hold even more food. 
And uh, you know what? The whole trifecta here, right? Why don't we just say we can hold more goods too? Although I think materials is probably where I want to go anyway here. So we'll do materials again and then and then the goods. Yeah, I think so. Good stockpile can go right next to that. Maybe right here. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Lots more stockpiles going in so we can hold more stuff. I like it. Next thing is a housing district. We're going to want to put another one of these out here. And we can do that. Uh, I think there's this frozen resource right here. It's an infinite resource, but we cannot exploit it because of the direction we went. So it's just like, I, I've had people say, don't forget you have these infinite ones. You, I don't. Uh, you do if you go the other path, but I went I went a different path. Uh, okay, you know, maybe we can put it in here. Say uh, one, two. Uh, is that? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just wrap all the way around. That'll be another housing district. And then probably another housing district over here. See, I was saying earlier how I have so much space. I have so much space. Why not build out? I'm not using any of this space. This is all completely blank. It could be housing. Instead of building up and, you know, having to do the hospitals and stuff to counteract all those, you know, the problems that we had before, right? There's no reason to do that. I can just, I can just do it this way instead. And it's, I just build out. I have so much room. So we're going to do both. Um, but yeah, building out is definitely what I'm going to do now. Uh, okay, so I still have the negative on on uh, oil here. It's actually not that much of a problem. Uh, before I made the automated dock, uh, I did not look at the weather. And that weather, there's the automated dock right here. Uh, that weather is going to get warmer now. And so that is going to reduce our heat requirements. And we're going to end up filling this up again anyway. So it isn't that big of a deal yet. Overdue fix unproductive do maintenance steward some workers sent to maintenance duty for not meeting their shift quotas seem to be doing more harm than good look at this gearbox they call that lubrication good for nothing useless bunglers the whole lot of them complains stiffen chores his name is chores an experienced foreman who reported and repaired many such blunders someone ought to whip these flu fool foozlers foozlers the heck is that someone ought to whip these foozlers into shape i tell you he went on hell i'll do it for a small fee obviously yeah train the unproductive so what this does is it's going to give us more effective increased production efficiency but it's going to have decreased heat stamps production and that is fine so decreased heat stamps production is completely fine with me more production is what i want okay we now have if i pause this really quick here you have a couple of things. First, I'm about to expire on this. Zero weeks left. Need to grant them their agenda. So let's do that now before I forget. Grant the agenda. Done. Promise the Faith Keepers is kept. There it is. Okay. Next thing to do. We have a deficit in food now. Unexpectedly. And uh, goods is going down. The goods are going to get fixed by the other thing over here. So let's try to do this really first. Uh, so right here. We can't do this because we don't have a Skyway connection. We can fix that. We can fix that. We're just going to... Uh, apparently, should have just done this first, right? Instead of the path. I really should have just done this first. That's my bad. I can do that with one go. And then I can go this one with one go. Not quite. So, I made the path and I need to do this anyway. Whoopsie. Uh, and then it'll be from here. And I need to wait for the Frostland teams anyway. Okay. So, they'll work on that. That's my bad. Uh, the other thing, though, is with goods, it's actually pretty straightforward in that all we'd really need to do is just increase what they're doing. Like, we have so much material at this point. So, uh, any zone here that's not at 100%, I just make it so, and they'll just, they'll just do it. Although 80, I feel like, is usually fine. Uh, and we have a lot of goods anyway, so the income we're going to get later is going to make up for it, but... It's fine. I've got extra I can do here, so <laughs> seems fine. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, the housing situation. We were building the housing districts. So that's been taken care of. And we can now go into our housing districts later. I thought we could. No. Uh, this gave us an extra building slot. Which, nah, I'm just going to build the district. Because again, oh, all, all I, I was doing here, I remember. 
uh, I was doing the, the frost breaking here. That's what it was. So let's just go out and do something like that. Should get any other, another housing district. There we go. And we should have another housing district here that I just did. And we'll expand it one, two, uh, three, I guess. So we don't fully block that. Okay, so that'll take care of the, the housing problem. Uh, because the temperature drops, we now have a surplus of oil, barely, but we can get more. Warmer season is here now. Yeah, there we go. So, there we go. Warmer season. Everyone is fine. And then we're going to come over to our Skyway thing again and just make it from... Uh, is it here already? Yeah, this right here needs to be fixed. So, from here, we come over... And we just bring it like that. Yeah. Skyway goes over like that. Okay. Once that's done, we can get that happening. So we'll just zoom time ahead a little bit. That's done now. Expand the manufactory. Use a little bit. Use the cores to do it. And just like that, we now have some stuff coming in, which we are going to now make immune to the whiteouts by doing that. It's two extra cores, but I think it's an important thing to do. So we have it now. Okay. Now we have a huge surplus of goods. Just fantastic. We can now take and change things up a little bit here. And we can make sure that we have positive everywhere. And that seems to be the case. But remember now, we're also going to have to send things to winter home as well. We have extra workers as well. And I'm thinking probably it's time to turn on our food districts a little bit here. So you can turn that one on. To help out a little bit we can turn this one on to help out a little bit that's fine you can always ramp these up even faster too if we if need be but i'd rather not use my own places actually let's turn these back off i'd rather not use my own places if i can help it i still have this stuff there's like a couple hundred weeks worth of food here and in an emergency it's way easier just to turn these on but i think we do it should do instead right is go over to like jonah's whale town or these other sources where we can grab these things right take the catch we can then get, uh, not this one. No, that's the diseased fish. Uh, there are other places for food that we've seen, right? And so we're just going to take those types of things and we will harvest them. So 20, 29,000 food. This is going to give 90 food for a little while. So we'll just say we want to harvest that. And then uh, there was another place for food I thought over here too. Right here, yeah. Another place that's food here. We can have that be harvested as well. <clears throat> and uh, we just dig into our surplus a little bit slower now. Right here, get 90 food, we'll harvest that as well. And I think that's kind of it. We can bring these guys home. They're bringing 100,000 coal stockpile. I want the cores, but I think probably sending the coal over to over here might be a big thing. Yeah, here we go. So we can establish a con here. Send colonists. Winter home ruins. That's what we're going to have to do. All right, we'll do that as soon as James, James Allen's is done. <clears throat> Maintenance worker. Oiling a machine, humming to himself. I put the pipette in, I take the pipette out, in and out, and spray it all about. My pa always gave me the belt, never taught me a single damn thing. <laughs> I, I don't know how this I don't know how this song actually flows. I thought it was like the hokey pokey for a second there, but now I don't know. I check the bolt on the left, I check the nut on the right, left, right, left, right, screw it all tight. <laughs> they all told me I was a good for nothing, but I'm good at this. I'm useful. You agreed to have Stefan Chores train the unproductive, improving efficiency and giving them a new sense of purpose. Very good. <clears throat> Very good. Okay. Let's do this. Send colonists. This is going to require some stuff. One core, 20 Frostland teams. Which we have enough of now and 300 prefabs go return to winter home descending into the valley of winter home will be very challenging we will need to divert resources manpower and attention from new london are you certain you wish to confront this challenge now it seems we are ready to meet these challenges we are I, we have a whole bunch of stuff i think we can do it right now so let's do it except send colonists winter home steward a radical group of evolvers that come forward with a proposition they suggest ensuring the leading members of the Faith Keepers end up included in the colonist group that will be sent out to for winter home. The Faith Keepers have been the source of discord in New London, one member of the Evolver says. Make sure the most fervent among them 
join the main group of Winterhome colonists. With them gone, New London will be free from protests. What should we do? <laughs> Send our enemies into the fire, huh? Recruit colonists equally from all communities. Make sure to include Faith Keepers leaders. Uh-huh. Wow. Colonists will be sent to Winterhome with no affiliation thing. I think this is probably what I'll end up doing. Make sure to include these guys. Uh, relationships will greatly improve with Evolvers. Uh, this will make sure we pick instigators from the Faith Keepers in addition to everyone else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all disturbances in New London will cease. I like that, though. I do like that, though. Because all the disturbances cease. But I really don't have a disturbance problem. I like the idea of balancing it equally. I'm going to do it equally. All right. Everything goes. Everyone goes nice and equal. All right. We have six cores at the moment. Uh, we don't have any Frostland teams available. We are out of Frostland teams. Crazy. I think there are a few places on the map that are... Well, being searched right now, right? There's, these guys are going out that way to the mountain over there. And then we have this one just got revealed. Dedicated motherhood is now in force. Vote held on Faith Keeper's proposal. proposal. Wow. So they voted and I didn't get a chance to see it. Okay. It's fine. They did it. They passed it. I don't care. Crashed Hulk. A tracked transport lies wedged tightly in the crevasse. Rows of resigned faces visible through the windows. The engine at the front is a shredded mess. Ash and melted steel charring, uh, scarring the wall of ice where it collided. Its precious core is clearly destroyed. Our scouts plan to knock the transport down to the crevasse's bottom to easily salvage, or salvage its uh, materials and coal. They could carefully remove and bury the bodies first so that they're not crushed in the fall, but that will take men and more time. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you get materials and coal out of it for later, and then five Frostland teams. We'll come back to that. Over here, we just have some food that we can harvest. I like it. Let's just do it. And then uh, we have this. Oh, here we go. Reverberating wreck. The scouts came to this particular wreck after hearing tapping on its hull. Descending the decks, they found no living soul, but discovered an automaton still tapping an SOS on the hull after 30 years. The scouts have nicknamed the machine the Tap Dancer. We could either cut the automaton free and send it to New London, or scrap it for its cores. Ah, uh, 400 workers or one core. Ah, uh, I think I want the core. I'm going to get the core. I'm good with that. Uh, okay, what's the last thing here? We have some more. That's the, that's the disease stuff. I really wish I could just, like, delete it so I don't see it anymore. Uh, we'll go ahead and harvest this food here, too. Yeah. Production efficiency is extremely decreased. Food output. Yeah, we'll harvest that too. All right. <clears throat> so now we're harvesting enough food. No big deal. Oh, still from outside. Uh, I would like to. Very. Oh. A new law is in effect. <gasps> right. That's the, the motherhood thing. Which, to be fair, is, is fine. I mean, it makes these guys a little more placated, right? It like, kind of just makes them, makes them happier. And as long as everybody's happy... And we're not going to have any problems. So I'm all right with it. Old Dreadnought, how are you doing? You got positives across the board everywhere. Yeah, you do. Positives across the board everywhere. You're full on the fuel. We got, yeah, prefabs, heat stamps. Are there six cores here? Is that a real thing? No, this is like universal. They have the heat stamps and prefabs and stuff that's universal. But the, the available workforce here is just 128. So we really just got everything balanced perfectly for this area. And I don't think there's really anything else I should do. Uh, if, if it gets really cold, obviously that might be a problem, but uh, ultimately I think we're fine. Okay, 14 weeks to go until that colony is established there. And then <clears throat> it's made a big deal out of saying that this is gonna be extremely dangerous. So I got a feeling we'll probably be on a clock, right? Yeah, life support, free essentials. Steward, while citizens are grateful for our commitment to provide basic necessities for free, it seems to have made some a bit carefree. My dog broke his back in the mine, and for what? Some meager rations, a poor quality lamp, and a pat on the back. I get the first ones for free, and I don't need no pat, said a youngster who spends his days playing his jerry-build guitar. 
Some great storm survivors are lamenting that work and responsibility are losing their meaning and ask to condition free essentials to performing a minimum amount of labor. What should we do? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, layabouts will return to work. Yeah, I think provided there is work to be had, nobody should stay idle. Less effective at increasing trust. Um, any condition would be an open door to inequity. More, more trust or lowers our workforce. You know, I have a lot of workforce, but I'm about to send a bunch of people, right? I'm about to have to bunch, send a bunch of people to winter home too. So I may actually have a workforce deficit once I start doing that. So I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm just going to say you have to do something and it's fine. We have tons of trust. I don't need to like have you know this thing that has more trust effect. I don't really need it. So I think we're good there. Um, yeah, we're good on food. That surplus is still going up. Sounds good. Everything's good here. I'm just going to let this run for a little bit and uh, I'll bring you guys back once winter home is, is ready to go. We just got 3,500 more people. So uh. Uh, hang on, let's hang on, hang on, hang on. Housing? Housing, okay. Housing is the thing we still need to do. Uh, we can expand this district. Uh, yeah, let's expand it. One, two, three, it's fine. Expand it out that way, and then in this district, we can put once, well, once we have a spot available, I suppose, since we're, I don't know, we're gonna send citizens away here. I don't think I need to do any more dense housing to raise disease and stuff. I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah, I'm going to leave it alone. It's fine. All right. Sorry about the little skips there. Uh, it's this cold, man. It's getting me. I want to keep going, though. Uh, this, this mountain right here is the last place we just searched. So let's see what we got here. Ice caves, nomads. The site is guarded by black silhouettes who turn out to be nomadic people from this area. Clanking and grinding sounds echo over the ice. In the distance, we can see the entrances to ice caves. Some nights, we also hear violent shouting, but nothing is more terrifying than those that pass in eerie silence. The nomads' guards signal that we should not approach. We can only listen and wonder. Convince them to let us pass. We can't do that without first having some positive dealings with these people. All right, it's probably going to be this one. Nomads, possible settlement. A huge sawmill and kiln used by a group of nomads to produce oil from frozen timber. Our engineers believe we could make the machine much more efficient. If we can get on speaking terms with these nomads, we could share the machine, offering some of the supply, offering them some of the supply. Otherwise, we could take the machine by force. Oh, let's share the site. Yeah, for, absolutely. Yeah, we will gain access to the machine's oil output, but have to share it with the nomads. It's fine with me. Cool. Uh, let's connect the trail. Uh, there's 5.5 million oil here. Uh, I have a trail already made over to here. Uh, I have a feeling, though, we're probably going to need more than just a trail here. Like, I feel like the sky box is going to need, the, the sky thing is going to be a thing, right? So why don't we go this way instead? Go that way, and then all the way to here, and then all the way over to here. We can do that, you know? And I don't know whether the trail is really necessary. If you can do the skyway instead, maybe that'll be sufficient. So we'll see. But it, does that count as positive dealings? Ah, here it is. Yes. Nomad's guard signal that we should not approach. We can only listen and wonder. Convince them to let us pass. Remind them of our dealings in the past and ask to be shown the caves. We should not expect anything in return. <clears throat> okay. The nomads invited our scouts into their homes. They didn't say much, but from what the scouts saw, the caves are a place for different bands to trade food and supplies. The efficiency with which the nomads used oil for lighting and heating was particularly impressive. As a gift, their elders offered sketches of their oil heaters, some of their simplest devices, yet more advanced than anything in our own homes. If we bring the sketches to New London, cold is slightly decreased. Ah, very good. Very good. It means we can uh, keep people warm with less resource costs on our end. I like it. Definitely like it. Okay, cool. And we have an incre increased stockpile now because of the things we just built. And so we can now be up to almost 450,000. I am gonna add even more fuel stockpile just to make sure we never run out of fuel, man. I'm gonna overdo it like crazy right there. Another fuel stockpile is right over there. Okay, what's this? A mother's life's work, dedicated motherhood. 
Steward, a new father has come to us with a complaint. My Virginia recently bore our city a child and was thus released from work duties. Yet at home, she ignores the babe's mewlings and spends her days scribbling away at some ridiculous novel. She claims, she claims writing it is her life's true purpose. I ask you to burn her papers publicly as a warning to mothers not to abuse their leave for activities other than child rearing. She has brought her unfinished manuscripts. What do you want to do? He brought her manuscripts to me? Wants me to burn them? No. No. Uh, no. Uh, we should let mothers pursue passions if they so wish. We're good, okay? We're good. And, uh, yeah, faith keepers, whatever. You want me to... You can burn them, all right? You want to burn them? I won't, I won't stop you, but I'm not going to do your work like that for you. No, thanks. Most likely, we'll need to increase the capacity in order to actually have that settlement work over here, I would think. But since we've already searched everything, we don't really need to keep things at the threat level and stuff, right? So I'm thinking we just go ahead and demolish this building too. And we can then put in one of those nifty auto automated uh, docks in here and increase the capacity in this area as well. I think so. So saving done and then we'll come over here and we'll get the docks going that's the wrong there it is no not the heating hub excuse me ah it's this one my bad uh i want to go right here yep got the two menus confused for a second there cool the fate of winter home is upon us isn't it okay the winter home expedition has arrived to the cursed city the cores under the ruins could be used to further upgrade New London's generator, bringing about levels of warmth we've never dreamt of. To reach the cores, we should have to demolish the ruins. Well, we would have to demolish the ruins, split the earth open to access those that are buried, and extract them quickly before toxicity renders winter home forever uninhabitable. Alternatively, we could seal the toxic fissures, forever burying the most, most of the cores. We could bring an avalanche down to batten down the cracks, and then work fast to manually close what remains. But afterwards, we could build a new city here and use it as a springboard for our expansion. Whichever approach we take, there will be no turning back. Okay, I've chosen to settle Winter Home for this, so that's what we're going to do. Our decision here will shape the power balance between Evolvers and Faith Keepers. Obviously, Faith Keepers will disapprove of this decision, uh, but we've known that going in, and I've always wanted to settle it, so we're going to settle it. Okay, this choice will realize the Evolvers' dreams and undermine any hope for the future the Faith Keepers wanted. Confirm your choice. Yes. Obviously, Faith Keepers are now going to become more, have more fervor, going to become more... <clears throat> hey, this is cool, actually. Let me, just, let me see that avalanche. Yeah. There we go. Boom. Now, obviously, we're not going to get the cores here, but that's why I kind of wanted to preserve cores a little bit so we had some so now we're in chapter four veracity okay new research available it says settling winter home colonizing winter home into a habitable city will be difficult the remnant toxic gas springs will spew toxic fumes we have to frost break and contain all toxic fissures before the gas concentration becomes lethal i see okay they've ruined winter home what's the point Okay, so winter home gas. Let's check out, see what this is. So monitor the disease levels in winter home ruins as you play. So disease levels, right? I went and got the healthcare stuff so we could be ready to react to this when needed. Building in toxic gas areas will significantly increase the overall disease level in the colony. Be aware the entire area will deteriorate over time due to incoming gas outbursts. High disease levels from gas intoxication will also lead to reoccurring citizen deaths. Okay. Utilize any methods available to reduce disease or limit people's exposure to toxic areas. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to go in and just see if there's something might be able to do here to combat that specifically. Um, alcohol. This is more of a... Alcohol rations to buy more. So this is more like drinking alcohol, not medical. Okay, society. 
relationships, probably nothing there. Different hubs. Maintenance hubs, rail hubs, communication hubs, emergency medical hub. Uh, modular units. So this is disease in neighboring housing districts is decreased. Okay. Uh, 25 materials demand and 20 heat. So I, I would just need to send materials here, which is not a problem. So I think I'm going to grab this just in case. But if there's another version, there is not. Let's grab this just in case. Okay. So the next thing, we have uh, some shallow iron veins over here, which we could get materials from. And of course, this is another... This is winter home, right? So now we have a trade menu with winter home as well. We can send stuff from New London to winter home. So I think we'll start off with 5k supply of goods and we can start off also with food. So let's start off with a full 10k supply of food here too. I don't know exactly what kind of fuel the place is going to need. So I don't know if I should send coal or oil. So for now, we're just going to do this. Now, winter home's furnace the generator, excuse me, it looks like it could probably work on anything. Mixed fuel. I think it can work on anything. So if that's the case, we should be able to go like this and like this. And that gives Winter Home full storages on all these resources so that I can turn the generator on. That's what I'd like to do. Um, but it doesn't let me turn it on yet. Oh, there it goes. Now it'll let me turn it on. Okay, so turn it on now. Okay, so now we're going to use only 15 oil. If 10,000 reserve, it should be fine. Okay, so next thing, let's get housing situated. And housing district should be near the generator, right? We need to frost break big time. And we also want to keep an eye on where all the toxicity is. So there's toxicity over here. Geothermal spring heat. Okay, hang on. Maybe that's not it. I thought that would be toxicity. This is a toxic gas spring. Yeah, and there's like a whole bunch of stuff all over the place here. Um, geothermal spring. This is heat as well. We might be able to use geothermal heat instead of all that other stuff then, yeah? I think so. Although, I feel like the toxic gas... Hmm. Yeah, now is there a new... There is a new, a new district. Okay, construction. This is a neutralizes toxic gas springs... Reducing toxicity level in winter home. Okay, that's what we want to focus on. Okay, so this right here is a toxic gas spring. So we want to frost break out to here. So let's can I do that. Oh, well, there's two different kinds of frost breaking now. Rapid frost breaking and safe frost breaking. Provides frost breaking teams with heavy equipment knitted out or kitted out with advanced protection devices. Ensures worker safety or... Teams of workers with heavy equipment breaking ice and preparing ground for expansion. Winter homes toxic gases will hurt or potentially kill some of these workers. So safe would be slower, but, uh, you know, safer. And it looks like disease is, is going up here. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, we want to go in here so we can get the stuff cleared out. So that gets me frost breaking to that point. Yes. Uh, we'll take... Some more frost breaking here as well. Go some more safe frost breaking. We'll go up this way. I want to be able to use that land as well. And then we have the frost teams. So I'm, I'm using as many teams as I can here to just do this as fast as we can. So we'll get that going. And then I think that's everything I can afford. Okay, good. No more workforce available here. So let's go ahead and break the ice. It's these, it's those evolvers. They'll doom us all. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. No, no, we're not going to. It's a first step towards our future. There we go. So frost breaking everything. Uh, looks like we have a paused game. It's pausing on me. Oh, it's saving. Okay. Yeah, it really, it stops everything when it saves. Real quick check over here in New London, because there's a, an event here. Uh, writer mother finishes novel. Steward Virginia Stephan, the woman who, uh, whose manuscript you returned earlier, has finished her novel. Kanto streaked by unseen voices. The novel's nearly 1,000 pages are riddled with obscure metaphors and cryptic references. It sparked a heated debate amongst its readers regarding its intended meaning. What we can agree on is the general sense of paranoia, pain, and loathing. She has dedicated it to you. Okay, she wrote this 
we don't have like a printing press, do we? Like how many people have read her novel? It's one book, right? Hmm. Anyway, she dedicated it to me, so I feel good about it. It's fine. Everything's good. It looks like the cold's going to go down, and then it's going to go back up. So we have plenty of time to uh, settle, settle the winter home issue here. But I probably want to send more workers here. I need a lot more people over here. So I'm going to send more people to the winter, to winter homes ruins. And we're going to go like that. Yep. I need a whole bunch more people over here. So relocate like 6,000 people to come on over here so we can wrap this up as fast as possible. So frost breaking is good there. We're going to go and get the housing district in. They don't want to be here because of the severe toxic gases. So are there gases coming from this too? Greatly outputs from severe toxic gases. So I think so. I think the toxic gases are coming directly from the center of the city as well. That's interesting. Okay. Rapid frost breaking harms workers. I'm doing the safe one. I did the safe one both times, did I not? Stuart, as frostbreaking teams neared the chasms of Winterhome, it was as if we approached the, mu the maw of hell itself. The ground splintered and noxious fumes pushed through the cracks to strangle those even in open air. Scores of our people suffered today, brought right to the edge of death. They won't survive a second attempt. Rapid frostbreaking can lead to injuries and death. Tensions between evolvers are rising. <laughs> I did not do rapid frostbreaking. Rapid frost breaking may result in casualties when used, but I didn't use it. This is safe frost breaking. Frost breaking. This is the safe one. I did the safe one, damn it. <laughs> I did the safe one both times. It takes 600 workers to do that. What's this one? Charlotte Boucher, 27, colonist, devising a plan. There's fucking evolvers. Always bending the steward's ear to their psychotic ideas driving our city into the ground. And now with Winterhome, they're putting us all in danger with their madness. This can't continue. Someone's going to have to do something. We tried talk. It's time for action. Some enraged faith keepers aim to sabotage operations in Winterhome. Of course they do. We need to reduce their fervor. Let's go over to New London. Hi. All right, emergency medical hub is a thing we have access to now. However, because you guys are neutral, I need to make you happier. I'm going to give you heat stamps. 600 of them. No, I'm going to grant you an agenda as well. You're seriously not going to be more neutral. <laughs> my God, your heart, you guys are real hard to please. You know that all I wanted to do is get you guys on my good side so that I could get you guys to you know, reduce the fervor over here, but no, can't be bothered to do that, huh? Mass produced goods is back on the agenda and I do like it. I'm going to just have them vote. However, they're going to vote. I'm going to have them vote. And there we go. Now this is of course mass produced instead of the high quality ones or whatever, but it's okay. We have a lot of stuff and the, the numbers are crazy good. So we're all right. Uh, real quick, check out the old Dreadnought just to make sure we still are. We're not. So we need to go up a little bit more. There we go. Easy. And uh, all good on that side. At yeah, 161 over here. Seems good. We can now increase this if we want to as well, sending even more resources to the main. This is also going to let us send more over to uh, Winter Home later if we need to as well. Uh, okay. Is there any other question marks? Or are there any other question marks? Over here. I missed this. Uh, so this is Last Hope Mountains. Makeshift mine, the nomads. A group of nomads have dug a coal mine on this site, using it to set a to fuel a set of crude hothouses. However, their design is flawed, and they haven't been able to grow any crops. A quick exchange between them and our scouts suggests that they will give us the site if we provide them with enough food for them to travel elsewhere. Alternatively, we could send in guards and drive them away. I'm not sure why I would ever be inhumane like that. Uh, an outpost could extract coal here, which is interesting. We could do that. And then we have this. A dried oil well. A rusty derrick breaks the white horizon. Below, the oil well lies empty. Our scouts found scrap materials in a larger and a large hangar nearby. Along with the blueprints, 
illustrating how to convert a Dreadnought's coal engine to use oil. Underneath a patina of ice and rust, our scouts found that the surface of the oil derrick has been almost completely scored with psalms and prayers. Uh, well, we're just going to get some prefabs. It's not that big of a deal, so we'll just grab them. <clears throat> okay, I believe that's everything. Did I get it all? I can improve this if I had the Skyway. I thought I just did the Skyway. Did I not do this? Oh, this doesn't have a Skyway. Oh, well, we need to, have the, we need to get the Skyway then, don't we? Yeah, let's go this way. Like that. I wanted to kind of bypass this ridge thing, but I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm not going to. Yeah, and then we'll have you go to here. Yeah, we'll get the get the skyway upgraded. That's fine. Yeah, we'll go from his from this point straight over like this. That gives us a skyway. All right, excellent. And then I can also improve this one if I had the skyway too. So you know what? Let's just do that too. From here, all the way over like this. And I can almost bypass that, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, skyways over there. Now, next gas outburst is in 39 weeks. will increase toxicity to catastrophic. We can't have that. So winter home, we need to get that taken care of. The frost breaking here. This needs to be going faster. It's going too slowly. It really needs to go faster than this. Um, I have additional workers now, but I don't have enough still. They haven't arrived yet. I don't think they've arrived yet. I think that's the problem. I can't set this up because I need to get rid of this. Yeah, damn. That is really unfortunate. Um, emergency medical hub would help. I can put that maybe like right here. But that's going to reduce how many tiles I border with this zone. And really, it does that everywhere. I can put this way up here too. What? Really? I mean... This has to be bordering something, doesn't it? Proximity, disease, and neighboring housing districts. So this is something I'd want to put here with a housing district here. That kind of thing. I need to frost break more. And I can't do this without the workforce. I just have to have the workforce here. Hopefully they're on their way soon. I did send more people here, like 6,000 people here. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, right here it says... Uh, marginally decreased by dedicated motherhood and nameless cliff. Can I see toxicity readouts at all? Is there like a heat, like there's heat surplus, coal absent, he, steam absent. Um, is there a, a number that shows me toxicity? Or maybe it's just like exists. And if I let it go too many weeks, it just becomes catastrophic and everybody dies. Maybe that's how that works. I don't see it here, although I guess it's the disease, right? Maybe that's what it is. It's just it's simply the disease reading is, is what you're going to have to weigh it, I think. Gosh, this is taking too long. Why is the frost breaking taking so long? Man, rapid is... That's why, like, the regular frost breaking is really slow compared to the rapid, man. Rapid is, is maybe better. I mean, yeah, some people die initially, but oh my gosh. Foraging Valley about to deplete. Uh, that's okay. I think we, we do have a food shortage in Winter Home. Where, where did it go? Where did it go? New London, Winter Home here. We do have a food shortage here. But we can constantly send more supplies this way. It's the housing that we don't have. And it, I, I need to be able to make a district in order to provide that. And the frost breaking is taking too long. <clears throat> but I can send more food. Because I think I can. Yes, I can afford to send more food. So, for Winter Home, the delegates have reached a decision. apparently delegates are reaching a decision without me. Uh, so, Winter Home Ruins, we're just going to go like this, just to keep them going with oil. We're going to send a little bit that way, okay? You don't need to send much, because they don't have much storage right now. And then, on food, they're depleting. <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to send an additional 5k. That almost fills them up. Fills them up, and then... We're going to also send enough to where we kind of keep them even. So it'd be like, like this. Yeah, something like, like that. Just, just to make that happen. This is fine. Negative one is okay for me for now. I'm not going to dink around with it. And then goods, same thing. Just make sure that they're sending them some goods so that they don't run out of them and resort to violence and 
thieving and all that stuff. Uh, they don't have any materials. That's going to be important too. We're going to start them off with a supply of 5k and make sure that we're sending them some supplies as well. Over transport capacity. <coughs> Shoot. Uh, so I need another... I need another one. Damn. Okay. You know what? For now, we'll just go like this. That's that's fine. Right there. That's fine. They're only gonna. Di they're only dipping into their food supply by eleven, and they have ten k. That's fine. That maxes out that that path though. So this path right here is maxed out. So we'll need to do the same thing again over here. This district, we need to take away the survival's headquarters and replace it with. Well, yeah, the uh, automated thing. So we're going to replace that with the freight dock here. That'll increase the capacity. All right. And then winter home ruins once more. Can I see how many workers are available now? Pretty please. It says 4,000. That's good. That's what I need. 4711 is what it's got. So now we can go frost breaking again. We're going to do it safe. Still doing it safe. And let's break around. Yep. I don't think I... I guess I have to do that, don't I? Let's break around the city just a little bit here. It's not as vital, but we need to do it. And then again, safe frost breaking is what I want. And we will continue breaking all the way up around here as well. Okay, go. Now with that frost break completed, population just increased. Okay, with that pop frost break completed, I'm hoping you'll let me do this. My 600 workers that I have. So uh, it looks to me... So this is a, a, should I place this on there? Neutralizes toxic gas springs, reducing toxicity level in winter home. I and mean, this is, this is supposed to be here, isn't it? This district, isn't it supposed to be on this spring? One, two, three, but it's just the three. That's good, actually. That's fine. Yeah, severe toxic gases, done. You just try to get rid of that. And... You know, like, disease is greatly outputting from here, too. So, like, I think there's still gases coming from around here as well. I don't see the icon like I see this. Like, this one had an icon on it, and I don't see that one here. But maybe I'm just blind or something. Uh, a broken vow. Hydraulic pump jack. Steward, the faith keepers are furious that you've constructed another hydraulic pump jack building. They wish to remind you of a vow that you swore to destroy another building of this sort. Doing so earned you significant good goodwill with their members. Rebuilding another to replace it makes a mockery of their good faith and push them towards hostility. How do you respond? <coughs> I mean, I'm just going to do it again, you know? Promise to destroy another one. It was, another over it was an oversight. Yeah, yeah, 15, 15 weeks. 15 weeks to demolish the building. It's fine. We'll demolish one of the hydro pump checks. Okay, so 15 weeks. We'll get rid of it. It's fine. We have an abundance of oil right now. Uh, so we should be all right. Now, we may have a deficit here if I if I do this, but I can always dial back a little bit, I think. So, hydraulic pump jack. Demolished. I did the thing I said I was going to do. All right. So, it's negative 31 over there now. So, what we'll want to do is come over here, and then we're just going to give less. Because we're fine. We don't need to give so much. So, it's fine. <laughs> we can keep it demolished, too. It's okay. Okay, this, ladies and gentlemen, I think has been our video for today. So we're in Winter Home. We're going to try to settle this place. It's a very... That's cool. I didn't realize I could just zoom in like that just by scrolling the wheel. Is that a new feature? Well, either way, it's looking pretty good. I'm having a good time with it. I hope you guys are too. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, for those of you who are still sticking around with me, I do appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.